Round one. So in the red, Hapa Jack of the Czech Republic, in the blue, Masalau of Belarus. Two orthodox fighters here. In terms of their physiques, they're almost mirror images of each other, really. Slightly rangier, I would say, Masalau. When you look at the shoulders, just a little bit of a hide advantage for him there. Hapa Jack with a decent one, too. Dabbing in with a jab there, trying to catch. Maslow in range as he was throwing. Nice up a couple on the inside there, though, from Maslow. Maslow looking to try and make the early running here. Hapajak came back with a decent left hand, but he was under pressure on the ropes there. Jack do some good work there. But he's having to work very, very hard to keep Masalau off him. Good right hand there from Masalau as he closes in, tries to just back half a jack up to the ropes, and he did well actually. To move off to his left and, and get away because that's not where he wants to be. Nice uppercut on the inside there, though, from Afijak. Into the last minute of round one, and in terms of what's actually happened here, Masalau has been on the front foot. He's looked aggressive, he's thrown plenty, and he's looked like he's kind of controlling the fight in terms of in terms of the fact that, that he is dictating and he is the one being proactive. But in terms of the cleaner punches landed, I don't think it's necessarily translated to that. Now, Jack has landed a decent amount. But he just looks like he's being bullied a bit, the Czech Republic fighter. That's what it looks like. There we go again, two, three punches thrown there by Alpha Jack, and a couple got through, definite scoring punches. It wasn't an egregious amount of power on them, but that's what the, the judges are looking for, punches that land to the front of the head, or the torso, delivered with the knuckle part of the glove. There goes the bell at the end of the round, and I'll be really interested to see how that one gets scored, because, as I say, the, the, the aesthetic of it, if you like, was that Masalau was in charge, that he was bossing that, he was coming forward. And he gets it. He gets it ten nines across the board, and that'll be why he got it. And I'm not saying he didn't land, because he did. But half a jack in that, in that round, boxing off the back foot, maybe looking a bit ragged at times, he landed plenty. Seconds out, please. The replays there just kind of show us round two. So that was. That was tight. It's a, it was a good sample we got given there. I'm not outraged by Masalau getting the getting the verdict with the judges on that on that first round, but uh, with boxing quite often, how it looks plays plays a significant part. And what here, what you've got is a front foot fighter. He looks like he's right on top of his opponent at all times. But if you're looking closely for what lands, which is what you have to do, then it's not as clear cut. Not in the first round anyway. First 30 seconds of round two. And Masalau, again, this has come out nice and strong. No 
referee just having Wilbur Masalau about punching or rather making contact with the inside of the glove there. Slapping, I guess you would describe it as. Decent bit of work off the ropes there from Pafijak. Long right hand from Masalau. Just clipped. Happy Jack and again, and I think a third one might have got through too. There's a bit of blood coming from the end of the nose there of, of Masalau, I think, as I just peer across the ring there. Good right hand there from Masalau. That's a good strong right again there too, and he's just beginning to find half a jack at the the range that he that he wants him. Half a jack. He's one of those fighters who he kind of started to look tired after about 30 seconds, but I think that's just the way he looks. I think that's just the demeanour he has in the ring. But again, that just this adds to the. As I said, to the kind of overall picture of the of the fight, he looks like he might be about to come apart almost at any second. I'd imagine that he looks like this in the gym. He looks like this in, in fights. This is just how he looks, but it's not a very good look in any sport where you've got judges. Strong left hand there from Masalau. <laughs> Jack was just dipping at the waist there, waiting for the referee to, to step in and get involved. Good right hand from Masalau. Masalau very much in control of that second round. Well, split scoring. Two ten nines there for Maslow, three ten nines for half a jack. In terms of the scoring of the rounds, this is just my personal opinion. I would have had it the other way around. I thought the first round was was close. Split scoring in the first round. I thought that second round, Maslow won quite clearly. So the scores after two rounds, I don't have any issue with. I just would have got there via a different route. Third round. So Masalau in the driving seat, getting that shoelace tied. There's that right hand. Maslow's landed that a good few times. Left hand on the inside from Happy Jack. It's been another good fight, this. Entertaining fight to watch. Light heavyweights have delivered this afternoon. Vinci Guerin, Alaverdiev in our first fight at 81 kilos, really set the tone. That was absolutely amazing. Right hand there from Maslow. Decent one, too. Nice left hand on the inside there, though, from Happy Jack. Just trading on the inside. Masalau was trying to pin 
Half a Jack back on the ropes there. Half a Jack, though, just as he has done all the way through the fight, just found something to, to get his way out. And the best has come loose there. Right hand there from Marcel out. And again, there, just stepping in and once more trying to just push it back towards the neutral corner here, right above me. Cheeky little left on the inside from Half a Jack. <laughs> Minute remaining here. Masalau of Belarus in the blue, Half a Jack of Czech Republic in the red. Masalau with an advantage going into this final round, a couple of points up on. A couple of scorecards. <laughs> nice left hand there from Afford Jack. I think almost all the way through this fight, Maslow would have felt that he was just about to get Hafer Jack under control, and he's never quite managed it because Hafer Jack, as I say, he's got that kind of look about him and has done since about the first 30 seconds where he looks a bit jaded, he looks a little bit too loose, a bit ragged, like things might all just start to come apart at the seams almost at any second, but he holds it together, he holds it together and he... He's always got something to say. He had a say in every single argument there. Not infrequently, he had the final say. As I mentioned, the winner here will go through to take on Shok Jakon Abduliev of Uzbekistan. Gentlemen, in the bout number 142, win by points with split decision from the blue corner, Andrei Masalau, Belarus. And Masalau gets it. He had a, a healthy lead on a number of cards going into that final round, and he gets it 4 1. Two rounds to one with three judges there, I think. Three rounds to nil with another, and. Two rounds to one in favour of Hafid Jack with the other.